Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Not So Very Let's Play. I know it's been a couple months, I think just two, but turns out February to April is pretty steadily crazy for me every year, and this year was no different. I absolutely love playing Sims, I love editing and creating these videos for this channel, but it is a really time-consuming hobby. And when it comes down to prioritizing certain things like developing real life relationships, work that brings in necessary and needed finances, and also my own health, certain hobbies get shifted to the back burner during certain times. So that's what I really needed to do, and that's what I did. And now I am happy to say that I can reintroduce recording and editing videos again into my schedule, so I'm really excited. This video and the next video was recorded back in February. Uh, a couple of things have changed since then, but I'll discuss that in future videos. So enjoy. <laughs> I am an amateur YouTuber, so I've been moving my <laughs> my face around and trying to figure everything out, and I finally figured out how to get the entire game so that you guys can see it, which I'm really excited for. Peony is currently living in this little apartment building, and I'm thinking of having her move across the street to this, which looks horrible right now. Trust me. It doesn't actually look horrible. <laughs> I built something really cool and really fun. I just need to know how much she needs to pay for bills. So, this episode's gonna be really long on my end, but save it out for you guys. Oh, she's real sad. Let's see. What's going on? Oh, her pet died. Giggles! Her little fox baby, who's an elder and passed away. Um, Giggles was a troublemaker, loyal and stubborn, so real pain, but <laughs> we loved Giggles. We'll spend today moving. I like that, especially because I feel like all of her really close people that she was living with have moved out, so like this is still a sign to Jonathan, but he moved out. Yeah, this is where he lives, so we'll go visit him. And you guys can see my little surprise. Peony's gonna cry in the closet for a little bit. Very sad. But yeah, her mother has passed away. Her childhood pet has passed away. A lot of her roommates- you can hear her crying. That's so sad. A lot of her roommates have like moved on with their lives. So she's kind of like, you know, I'm an adult entering into my career. And I don't want to be here. There are lots of memories here. Actually, most of the stuff in this apartment is hers, so I'm gonna have her take it. Woohoo. Let's move, actually. This is how paranoid I am, guys. I just did all that and I'm like, save. <laughs> just in case, save. It's funny, this blue of the screen is just barely different from my background blue. <laughs> All right, we're moving here. The roadstead town. Well, I'm gonna fill the house up, figure out where her bills are, empty the house, put on my actual build, and refurnish the house. I just made life so much harder for myself, but that's okay. <laughs> this is half of the duplex. So this is the half Peony is going to be living in. There will be another half of the duplex and actually an entire town here in just a minute. Honestly, you guys don't want to see this because it's not what it's going to look like. I kind of just threw all of her stuff <laughs> in there just to see what her lot value is. 43,327. And then her bills, her show bills information, total estimate 1,122. So that's how much we should be paying. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it. All right, here we go. Okay. Here's the duplex. It's super cute. And I'll take you through it. So here's the front door. 
when you go in, you have her living room area and you've got her, sorry, this is difficult. All right. You've got her piano with her giant like pictures that are very like inspiring. You've got her microphone, her couch that we thrifted. Also this that looks awful and I will change it once Peony's been living in here for a little bit longer. And the color of the lamp too, just cause you know, when you're rooming with a bunch of people from college, not everybody, but not everyone cares, okay? about things matching but once you move into a home sometimes you care more and i definitely do on behalf of my sims and then you've got their little dining table their kitchen area this is what it looks like it's just a little cramped but it is a very large kitchen which is good because peony makes gourmet meals so that's nice you got a little like guest bathroom there and then upstairs, her room, and of course, I gotta put these walls up because we've got, of course, Detective Llama, or whatever it is, from her favorite TV show. Her stuff from being in the secret agent career, briefly, from her internship. And then her little closet area and her bed. And she does have a basement, but it's unfinished, so it's like buying a townhome with an unfinished basement. And we'll finish it over time. Yeah, so that's where we're at. And then the reason I did all of this is because right now the lot value is 130.05. So let me write that down. Have upgraded to 5,305, which honestly she could pay that pretty easy. I was gonna do my like cool thing. Let me just set her money back to 51282. But she's so rich, I don't think it matters. <laughs> well, we're not even gonna struggle at all. And I kind of thought she would. But the way I usually will do it is whatever the bills charge you as, I would pay. And then, like, whatever the bills charge you as, I would pay it and then add the amount back to my sims um, money with cheats. Obviously, you don't have to do that. And apparently there's something in MC Command Center too. What I did want to show you guys was this mod, um, My Little Neighborhood by Little Miss Sam. You can either have it as one of these like lot traits or you can do a little add-on that puts it in lot challenges because lot challenges are unlimited. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have my little, my little neighborhood widget here. And that makes it so when I come out of build by, I can click on my door. And of course we want this to be the front door, but I can click on my little neighborhood and I can enable a cafe or a park. So if I enable this and I enable the park, then when you look at this widget, it's like both of the park, or park and that are doing this. Okay. Ooh, these are such cool settings. Enable shared bills to lower your weekly bills by 10% for each next door type. I'm gonna do that. Enable janitor, that means I don't have to clean everything up. That's nice. Yeah, dog owners can come. Unlimits the number of possible visitors spawning. Uh, we'll see. It is winter, so I kind of don't want a ton of people because they'll freeze. <laughs> so we'll see. Second barista. That's nice. Well, let's see how that goes. I did playtest a little bit with this mod, and it worked really well. Let's start playing! Oh, I'm so excited. I didn't... I usually steal food, but I didn't do that, so... I'm gonna have her order pizza, so I'm gonna have her come in and sit. Pizza? Pizza. New house, pizza, yes. Canadian bacon, sure. I'm gonna have her invite Patchy and her little brother over, Fiero. Oh, it's a good thing we got tons of pizza with random people in our house. See, 
this is why I really like this like lot because people come and they use stuff and it just feels so much more alive. Ah, Fierro's leaving. Look, and here's the janitor who's cleaning up after the barista. Nice. It's so nice, I don't have to worry about that. I love this mod. It's 2 a.m. in your own house, you're allowed to play piano. You have no neighbors. <laughs> University. So I can apply again, but because she's already applied and graduated, I can just re-enroll. Let's see, which one do I want? Um, comedy. I think that would be great. I have to complete eight classes to graduate. Yes, okay, so here's what I did. I have this mod that I really like. It's Shorter University. And instead of 16, you can choose however much you want. So I had it, I had the file for eight credits to graduate originally for her to do her degree to become a detective. And then I took the mod out. So now it's back to like the full 16 and I'm having her double major. So now she has to do eight classes to graduate from that. Actually taking two classes would be much better. Why am I making life so difficult for myself? Ugh, she's just gonna miss all of it. I'm gonna see how it goes and what she gets if she just misses all her classes, but she turns in all of her assignments. Look at that, my scholarship pays for it all. Boom. Thank you, scholarships. Best. All her needs are completely met except for social, which is good because we're gonna meet people at work. And per the challenge, all the babies need to be from someone at work. So we're going to make a bestie or maybe a two or three besties and have them come live next to us or maybe downstairs. She'll rent her little thing to them. Um, it did fascinating facts. Join. This is going to be insane because she's playful, depressed, and focused. Not all at the same time. In order. <laughs> it comes in waves. Welcome to the force! Yay! It's time to start fighting crime. First things first, use a computer to get a case assignment. Look at her! Look at her! I might change her. Well, let me see what she is. She is... what's well, class. She is a detective. So I might change her to look more like a detective instead of like a police person. Online it says to open the cheat text box, which again is control shift C and then write sims dot modify underscore career underscore outfit underscore in underscore cast. Enter. Ooh, it worked. See, personally, I just feel like that is a little bit more professional. And then I've also had my bills delivered. And like I said, I think she's good. She's got plenty of money. I'm just going to look on the gallery for a second and see if I can find a better one. Whoa, that's extensive. Mostly, I just want more desks. Yeah, okay. Let me... I can't modify a lot while my sim is working. When else am I supposed to do it? bb.enable free build. No spaces. I have to bulldoze it, I guess, first. Build by... While your sim is working means... Current live mode play. Now I can probably do it. Yes! Okay. Furnished police station, yes. We're gonna say this is your desk. Come sit. Well, these are our co-workers. Not too bad. A lot of them are a little old, but I guess it's okay. <laughs> 
Browse police database, file paper, case assignment. Let's see, we've got Mia Asawi. She is a young adult. And then we've got Ari Takeuchi, who's an assistant and an adult. Assist with a crime scene investigation. You need to learn the ropes before you can handle running your own case. You'll start by assisting a veteran detective with a crime scene investigation. Use the crime map to travel to the crime scene. Okay. Then we've got this person, who's Chihiro Mas... Chihiro... Chihiro Matsumoto. I'm sorry guys with the names. I try. Crime scene. At a crime scene, you can find clues that will help you track down a suspect. Investigate damaged or stolen objects and search for clues on the ground nearby to uncover more evidence. Also talk with witnesses to get a report about what happened. Well, sir, you are not wearing a shirt, but you're a witness, so instead of going to cry in some random person's bed, we're going to take your witness report. Collect clues. One more, one more. Nice. Okay, return to police station. When you're ready, click on your sim to return. All right. Return to police station. Now that you've gathered now that you've gathered evidence from the crime scene, it's time to start tracking down a suspect. Use the chemical analyzer and computer to evaluate the evidence you found at the crime scene. There's a chance you'll discover some information about who committed the crime. All right, we got half the day left. Let's go. What is what are you trying to do? Chat? You know, what? come get to know Aya better. Practice analysis first. I wonder what skill this helps. Logic. Well, duh. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, we don't have a ton of time right now. Analyze the ev analyze the evidence. Let's go. Just everyone's in here. Oh, it looks like she successfully used it. Maybe. Nice work! Analyzing evidence from the crime scene allows you to discover clues about the suspect. Once you're running your own case, you'll have to analyze lots of evidence before you can find the suspect. For now, use a computer to file the crime scene evidence so the senior detective can take over. Cool. Who's this? Civilian? Why are you here? Alright, this is my desk. File crime scene evidence. Good work! The evidence you found will be helpful to the detective in charge of this case. Once you get your own case, you'll have to follow up on the evidence yourself. Tomorrow you'll learn about the next steps in a case. For now, take some time to help process criminals here at the station. Oh. It's kind of sad. I might take all of these out and just put a modded elevator in. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, we're going. Where are we going? Oh my gosh, it takes a whole hour for them to walk down. <laughs> Alright, fingerprint. Good. And then you're going to search. Well, that's a glitch. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it works. I guess she's not going to do a specific one. Alright, he's in there with her, so we'll take her down to fingerprint. We'd love to have you join Covalent Bonds. What do you think? Juliet, stop bothering me. <laughs> Bro, are you stuck? <laughs> so funny. I'll help you in a minute, dude. I gotta finish my work, though. Ew, she should wash her hands. 
He needed a fantastic job. Yay! Wow, 1,000 per day. That's pretty good. Well, I definitely can go to class. And it's a holiday. Oh, so I still go to work. Hmm. I don't even get the choice. I guess that's what happens when you're a newbie. Training day two. Train harder. Oh no. Still a bit more to learn before you'll, you will be ready for your own case. It's time to get out into the community and start building your reputation as a friendly protector or hardened authority figure. Take a shot at finding and arresting a suspect. Suspect has brown hair, wearing slacks, erratic, and a teen. Wow. That's a lot. You have processed enough clues to issue an all points bulletin, APB. While you have a rough description of the suspect, the more clues you find and process, the more specific the description becomes. When you have a very detailed description of the perp, you will be less likely to arrest an innocent who shares a few similarities with the guilty party. All right, I feel personally that she has a ton of evidence. All right, is she? Whoa. Teleported me. So now I gotta arrest the person. All points bulletin. A suspect fitting the APB description has been spotted in this area. Ask around to see if anyone can point you toward the subject. Sorry, suspect. Toward the suspect. Use the notebook to review the description. This is the notebook, yeah. Teen erratic, wearing slacks, and has brown hair. I just need to know if you're erratic. That's all. Oh, hey, Jonathan. Okay, he's a geek. Every time someone asks about the suspect, he, like, walks away. You know what? I'm just gonna arrest him. Even if I arrested the wrong person, I still arrested someone. <laughs> now that you've learned about work out in the world, you should know that there's plenty to do around the station too. Run criminals through the booking station, take crime reports from civilians, and get to know your co-workers. You can also use the gym to stay fit or browse the database on a computer to bolster your knowledge. Alright, let's do it. Whoa. Football game. I don't know who the chief is. Everyone's just an officer. He's a detective. Hey, earned a vacation day. Nice. Give him a firework. Yeah. Happy winter, fellas! Oh, it looks like he liked it. That's good. Also, we found out a few episodes ago that Jonathan has a son. His name is Jet. And basically, off camera, I went to just see him, Jet, and his mom, and his dad, and his younger sibling. See how they were doing? And <laughs> the dad hated children he had like so many bad traits so i was like logically they would probably have a really bad relationship so that's what i did and since he's a teen he was like it's kind of the time when his mom would tell him that you know he's not biologically the son of who she's married to so he went and he found his dad who's jonathan and decided to live with him so this is where they live and it looks like i need to give them a cat because <laughs> they live here. Um, really quick, I'm going to use this cheat again. In bb.enable free build. That was incorrect. And I definitely don't want to like get rid of this completely. So I'm actually going to shift something's over. There you go. 
Nice Christmas tree here. It doesn't really look like there's a table in here, which is kind of interesting. Jonathan and his son. So cute. Also, I feel like... Well, she can wear her clothes and just be like, I'm a detective now, guys. I'm a full-fledged adult. I do what I want. Oh, so nice. He came over to talk to her. They are like best friends. He's like, good job cooking. Gracie, sorry to bother you, but I've heard what a great person you are. Would you be interested in making a generous donation to charity? Yeah, we can totally afford it. Sure. He's like, you know, it would have been better if you had made cupcakes. <laughs> She's like, turkey, Jonathan. Turkey. He's like, okay, I guess turkey's fine. Oh, look, it's Santa. Santa. It is Father Winter. And he's got a beard, but not hair. And then let's light the tree. New personality trait. Peony feels being proper is very important to her and seems to be spending more time on herself. Embrace the change. That's so cool, but unfortunately, we've got a challenge, so she has to keep her personality traits. I'm gonna have her introduce herself to Jet so that they can light the treats all together. I guess I can do it with Santa. He's nice. This is so cute. Peony, did you open a gift? No? Yes? Winterfest was a success, guys. So good. Heavy metal, she <laughs> treasure. Interesting. I'm gonna bring her over here. And then I'm gonna call it, so it'll be good. I definitely want to make sure that she has a bestie from work uh, by next episode, and she can ask her to either move in. Mm, we could do move in. Or I could have them be a roommate, uh, and then Peony can start considering children, which is awful while you're in school and at work, so that'll be crazy, absolutely crazy. But maybe Peony doesn't care about her child just going to daycare every day. I don't know. Personally, I'm not a fan of that. But, you know, my sim is not me, so I can play different lifestyles. <laughs> But we'll see. Next episode, definitely, like, some kind of development in the realm of going towards the next heir, so that'll be good. But yes, uh, it'll be great. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.